everybody. It's Friday and welcome back to my channel. I've got a very unusual journal that I've done. It is meant to look very, very old and um, kind of, you know, aged. Very, very old and aged are the same thing, aren't they? Well, <clears throat> let me just get into it. Um, I used a hard board for the cover and I covered it with fabric and inked it. This this particular kind of book takes a very, very, very long time to put together um, because of the layers of the inking and um, coloring, letting it dry in between each each um, application. Um, you know, to get like this this started out as white. It's a white piece of canvas, and um, I dyed it and and discolored it, distressed it, all kinds of stuff. Uh, this was a real pretty fabric that I had, and it just um, age did the aging look really pretty. Got a little image here. It says journal and three rosettes, and it measures um, the actual cover measures seven and three quarters by four and three quarters. But uh, the papers all stick out. It's got real ephemera in it. Um, the spine of it is. Mm -hmm, I can't see it. Uh huh. Let's do that one. Is one and and a quarter, maybe a little bit bigger than one and a quarter hair bigger. Um. And uh, here, well, here's the back. I put a piece of this netting over it, but you can see all the aging going on. Um, I used twine to tie it. On the inside, going in. This is the same fabric. It's just not quite as distressed as much because it is on the inside. I figured if the book was covered, it would uh, get less of the aging look. And I used real ephemera in here, um, along with some printed. They're like this piece is a printed, but this is a, a real piece back here. Each page is uh, protected with fabric on both sides so that the twine won't rip the pages out. Um, but still, they're, they're wobbly. They're supposed to be. Um, and going on this side, uh, is a dictionary page, and then that's part of a napkin there. Again, the fabrics image here. This is actually a hidden pocket right there. Uh, with some vintage ladies. And over here, all the, uh, papers in here are thick. They're, um... They're almost cardstock like. Um, the nice aging and the coffee dyeing. And then I added two distressed cards here. I'm flipping it over again. Like I said, the fabric is, is holding the holes on both sides for no tearing. Over here is some lined paper that's been distressed, and the edges are all torn and uneven. Got a just a piece of paper in here with the rough edges and a um, little admission ticket to the Illinois State Fair. I put in here things that I thought maybe someone would keep. It does have some usable writing space, um, which I think is pretty neat too. But I just love the, the rough edges and inked and like I said, this is, this is really a process. Some stressed line paper. Well, oh, there's a cat outside. Sorry, everybody. There's a cat, my baby. Shh, stop, stop. Okay, there we go. Uh huh. Kitty cat sitting out there, like, hmm, y'all can't get me. <laughs> you gotta love it. Over here is a collage of different papers. Both of you. Yeah, works, well. works real well, doesn't it? Um, got a piece of a printed ephemera back here. This is a piece of real ephemera here. A nice p image of lady sitting on the porch having tea. And again, the distressed, really distressed look. This is a piece of that netting coming over the edge. Put a little texture here. A very handsome gentleman. Um, and that's a piece of scrapbook paper there. And, uh, this is like this, this back here is one process. 
and then this is taken to the next level so you can see how it just gets darker and the edges get darker and I love this dye. I thought this looked really old, this scrapbook paper. So I inked it also. <coughs> Shh. Use your inside voice, Sammy. She's on a roll today. That cat, and he's starting to walk off. There he goes. How funny. Well. Didn't know there was a cat in the neighborhood. This this is heavier paper than I normally use. But it's a nice, it's a nice weight. And then the edges are all roughed. Really nicely. This is a real piece of ephemera, and so is this. Part of a book page from a Greek book that I had. And I love this image of this lady outside with her kitty cat and birdcage in the background. And I didn't do anything to the real ephemera. I left it as is. Again, that scrapbook paper, part of a book page, the real ephemera. This came out of an old, old cookbook. You can tell from the pictures. Look at this. This is great. Can y'all see that? That's just great. All this is the natural aging of the book itself. And on this side, I put a piece of that uh, cookbook uh, page because it had check marks. Apparently somebody had tried to make the potato stuffing and checked off everything with a pencil. So I thought that was kind of neat. And then this, I, just, I was going to use it on a page. I just could not bring myself to do it. It's a real piece of ephemera, and the date is 19, December 15th, 1953. Uh, and it's in very good condition. Um, it's got different... Um, she wrote the article. It's, this is like a stash uh, that I... I mean, an envelope that I got that had all this stuff from this lady in it. And it was at a, a flea market over in Greenwood. And uh, she, apparently she was the writer. And it was all her editing stuff. And this is just a piece from it. And it was torn... And it's all about Christmas in the different countries. It's very, it's very, very interesting. But I, I could not bring myself to cut it up. Not, not with that day. But it's because it's got some good stuff. And a piece of ledger paper here. And again, the aging. Over here is another paper clip, and I put several pieces of uh, printed ephemera. This is printed. Now, of course, this is uh, not printed, but um, picture old Abe Lincoln. But it's a World Columbian Exposition, um, like a fair, which I thought was neat. And then I added a piece of, of uh, grungy lined paper. Just things I thought that somebody might, might want to keep for some reason. And on this side, again, the aged look. And then I put a railroad pass. Now this is uh, Val's mother-in-law gave me a big box of Christmas cards. And it also had other notes that she used. And this looks like it's from the 50s. It's the real thing. It's like a little note card. Um, but it was so cute. But it's, it's definitely the, um, the real deal. And then I put that piece of printed ephemera and this piece of primitive ephemera. I liked it because the date is 1878. Well, that could be a nine, but it looks like a seven. But anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. And then this is part of that cookbook. And it, uh, it a torn edge here. And then this is from a book that I had... Um, Three Musketeers in French, and it's been inked, and some of it's the natural sections aging. And then I framed a picture of two ladies cooking, but I just love the stoves. They're so awesome. And on this side, this is that page hanging over with the rough torn edges, but you can see the distinct layers of the different aging stages that it goes through. And I, I find the ones that I like and uh, pull them as I'm, as I'm doing it. And then a real pretty image here. And then we have some more writing. Uh, I like the fact that this book stays flat. That's something that I really like. And it's due to the to the way the spine is. Another writing page there. Um, and then I think I put four in between each one. And then um, this is real ephemera here. Now this is a printed thing. I think it's from um, Victoria... 
Vectoria, V-E-C-T-O-R-I-A, like Vector, um, on Etsy. And that's one of her images in the background with the real ephemera on the front. And then on this side, um, this is an image of the waning and the waxing of the moons. Uh, photography emblem with some of that um, scrapbook paper, part of a book page, and an old image of a gentleman on one of those big wheel bikes. So cool. And then the back cover. I didn't put any pockets on it. I didn't think they would in a, in a book as old as this. Um, so it has no pockets. And then you got to kind of pull these here to kind of get the book to sit right. Now this particular book is spoken for, but I will be making more of this style. But like I said, it takes a very long time. I can't take custom orders on it. But what I will do is, as they develop, if y'all will go to my Facebook page, Everything Fenora, and like the page, I'll post um, when I have another one of these done. And uh, that way you'll know it's coming. And um, first come, first serve. If you say I want it, then I'll I'll make sure that you get it. Um, you know, I, I will list it in my Etsy store for you. But because it's just, I know people that do on, on YouTube that do a lot of this aging process. And I have seen them get so flustered because it, it does take a very long time and you just can't keep up. Um, so I don't want to get in that position. I'm going to do it as I can, and uh, but I'll, I'll constantly do them because I honestly love it. And I have so much ephemera that I do want to use up. So um, anyway, this, like I said, this one is already spoken for. And I want to thank you all for being here with me today. I will see you very shortly in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.